It is my 22nd birthday coming up and I am determined to make it my best year ever. Not only that, but 22 for me is going to be marked with a lot of change, including graduating from university, being out of school for the first time in my life, and doing lots of different fun things like traveling and hanging out with my friends. So to kind of bring in the 22nd year of my life it, with good vibes, with positive intentions, I've decided I wanted to make a vision board to kind of level up my life and figure out what I want to focus on this year. With that, I'm also going to spend some time actually leveling up my life after I finish my vision board. So let's get started. Hello, my friends. Now that I am done with all my work for the day, it is time to have some fun. One thing that I've been wanting to do is make a vision board for my 22nd year of life and really try and focus in on what my goals want to be, what I want to achieve when I'm 22 and everything like that. So I'm going to make a vision board and I think I'm going to hang it up like right here on my wall so I can see it every single day. And uh, yeah just have fun with that. So I'm going to go on to Pinterest and look at some pictures and anything that inspires me and we're gonna make the vision board. I'm gonna bring you on my process, obviously. in the spot after fixing my freaking paper thingy on my printer like 10 times finally printed out all my pictures I'll show you a couple that I'm very excited about loved this one obviously going for a gym aesthetic and healthy foods aesthetic as you can tell but I'm gonna spend some time cutting these up and gluing them onto my little cardstock paper I just have this little purple one and making my vision board I'm gonna try and like sort the picture so that each quadrant is kind of its own section and uh, kind of organize it that way but I will show you when my vision board is done I love this part of vision boarding because you're just gonna watch YouTube videos cut out your pictures relax and just have fun with it which I'm very excited about all right just finished up my vision board and i hung it up on my wall which i think it looks so cute but i wanted to go over what i put on my vision board and also the goals that i have for when i'm 22. so kind of like this whole area up at the top here represents fitness health eating self-care all that kind of stuff with keeping my physical body in shape. So obviously there's some weights here. This quote says, sweat now, glow later. There's um, the vegetable produce there and then just like uh, dumbbells and stuff. And this quote I love, seek balance, not perfection. This is definitely something that I have to keep in mind. This side here is the travel section. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling. Um, after I graduate university, which I'm very excited about. So I just have like this girl with her suitcase. This is a picture of Paris that I found on Pinterest. And then this girl's reading with um, the plane window in the background, which I really, really liked this. And then this side is kind of like a mesh of other stuff, I guess. First, I photoshopped my channel name with 5,000 subscribers underneath, cause that's gonna be my goal for this upcoming year. Um, then I have just cameras just to remind me of like filming and vlogging and all that of course. These two are tattoos. I really want to get tattoos this year and I think I definitely will but it's just about when. This is one tattoo that I want. It's an Aries constellation and then this is another reminder of a tattoo that I want which is like a hedgehog. I can't really find exactly what I want on Pinterest because it doesn't really exist yet, but that's kind of a little reminder. And then I have a little quote that says, self-love, self-care. And there's my vision board. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, it's perfect.
Oh gosh. Almost done, but not quite. Chicken is finished at 160. Just wanted to check to make sure I don't overcook it because that's what I've been doing recently, but looks like it can still go for about five to seven more minutes probably because we're still 20 degrees under. Okay, it's been 15 minutes since I put my potatoes into the water, turned off the heat, and I'm just gonna check that the potatoes are soft enough particularly one of these big pieces. So what I do is just I stick my fork in and if it's still hard or like extremely hard to poke through, then I'll let it keep boiling. But this is pretty good now. So I'm gonna scoop all the potatoes out of the water and into this mixing bowl. And then we're gonna add in our little fixins. Okay, all my potatoes are into my bowl, as you can tell, and I'm gonna mash it all first just to see the consistency that we're working with. And then I'm gonna decide, based on that consistency, how much of the butter and milk and cream cheese I should add. Because this, honestly, I play by ear. I have no measurements to give you. I just kind of add little by little and see how it is, and then try not to make it too runny. And same with the seasonings. I just add little by little and then taste it. If it's not enough, then I'll add a bit more. And that's the beautiful thing about cooking. sides to be super salty or super flavorful because I feel like that kind of detracts and overpowers from the main part of the dish which today the main part is the chicken so I'm gonna leave it it's a little like not super salty but still flavorful and I really like that so I'm gonna leave it as it is and I'm gonna take the chicken out and then finish my asparagus and then we'll be done and ready to eat okay so I'm gonna be blanching my asparagus which is basically just like boiling it in water for a little bit and then just taking it out after so I rinsed and washed my asparagus it's ready to go added a little bit more water into the mashed potato water that I used earlier once that boils I'm gonna put some asparagus in and then just take it out and then we'll be done and I'm ready to eat I'm so hungry right now You can hear the air fryer still going because I'm meal prepping some of this lunch for later on this week, but here's my lunch, air fryer chicken. It looks absolutely delicious. My mashed potatoes, my asparagus. You can season this with salt and pepper too, but honestly, I've learned that I don't really like super flavorful, like seasoned things. I like the actual flavor of the food. 
I don't know, call me boring. Uh, also got some baby carrots and hummus. I don't know how much I'm gonna eat because this looks like a lot of food. And last is Whole Foods Fresh Squeezed Orange Juice. And I'm so excited, watching some YouTube, obviously, but this has been one of my go-to meals and it is so delicious. The next category that I'm trying to level up for my birthday is my YouTube and my content. And what I did to improve that is I made a whole notion to do all my YouTube stuff. I used to use Notion for like everything in my life as a to-do list for school, everything, but I like pen and paper more for that kind of stuff. So I decided to try out Notion again, but just for YouTube and content. So here's what I've got. It's very, very simple. Don't expect too much. I literally have one page and that is my YouTube hub. And it literally just consists of one thing, which is my content calendar. So this is only for my YouTube videos. I also do a podcast and I also have TikToks and I also post reels for my podcast, but I decided that this is solely gonna be YouTube videos just to keep everything in order. Everything else I organize in my planner. But here's how it works. These are the videos that I'm going to be uploading. They're on the day that is like, it's gonna be uploaded. So for example, this video going up for my 22nd birthday is going to be uploaded on April 5th. So there it is right there in the calendar. And what's great about Notion is now I can plan out everything that I wanna include in my video. So first off, obviously I have a plan for the video. I'm gonna try and use a brain dump more like when I'm planning for future videos and stuff, but I have a plan, an intro, part one, part two, all this stuff, and also the types of shots that I wanna do. Obviously I vlog a lot and I film a lot and sometimes vlogs can get very unscripted and unplanned. But what I found is that even just making a bullet point of the things that I'm gonna be doing in my vlog really helps me keep on track of what I'm supposed to film and what I don't maybe need to film. So for example, for my college weeks in my life, I like to go through each day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and write down the main events that are going to be part of the vlog. And then if I find that some days are lacking a bit more content than others, those are the days I might choose to focus more on filming a get ready with me part of the video or filming me get, getting coffee, making coffee, stuff like that. So that really helps me out and I've been kind of lazy with it. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, I'll just vlog whatever. But I've really found that planning out my videos really helps me have a storyboard, an intro, a middle and an end to my video and just everything like that. So right now I'm gonna spend a bit of time editing my video for Thursday and also planning out some future videos. I was like, yo.